I know I've been in the same shirt and I've been showing you the biceps the entire week, but this is the same muscle building series. And as such, just look at your biceps. I mean, if you wanna see muscle, that's probably the easiest indicator of how much muscle you got going on. As soon as you start to see the deep striations into your biceps and you start to see the peaks and the freaks, that's how you know that you're really packing on muscle. And so in today's video, I wanna teach you about supplements that you should be taking, the key element, and what about for somebody that might have weight to lose, some body fat to lose, but they still wanna put on muscle. What should they do? When it comes to supplements, what should you be taking? Well, the first thing when it comes to your hormones, there are male hormones such as testosterone and for females, estrogen. As we age, the production of testosterone for male decreases. As we age for females, the production of estrogen decreases. And estrogen has a key factor on your ability to metabolize fat. For men, the decreased production of testosterone decreases our ability to build muscle. And so there are natural supplements that you can take out there. There's some of the testosterone. The States has better testosterone building natural supplements than we do here in Canada. For females, I recommend DIM when it comes to natural, but when it comes to actually getting hormone replacement, that's a discussion that you're gonna wanna have with your specialist because they're gonna be able to find a way to optimize your hormone production or lack thereof. So hormones do play a role in your ability to metabolize fat for females and increase muscle gaining for males, but that's a discussion that you should have with your physician. Now, when it comes to your supplements, protein and carbs are gonna be your main macros. So make sure that you're getting high protein and in order to be able to achieve the protein that you're going to need in order to feed the muscle, you're probably gonna require some type of protein powders. The FDA is actually gonna be changing the classification of protein powders from a supplement to a food source. So there's nothing really unnatural about protein powder because it's just a derivative of milk, okay? Now EAAs are the essential amino acids that have been isolated from the protein powders and they're used to help build and repair your muscle. So those are two powders that I would recommend for you. Now when it comes to should you take a pre-workout or should you be taking fat burners? Well, the difference between the two is pre-workouts increase the amount of blood flow and muscle pump, and then also the recovery that you have during a workout versus a fat burner is designed to give you energy to speed up your metabolism and to help you to burn fat. So when it comes to one or the other, I would suggest that if you're focusing on building muscle, that you take the supplement, I really like C4, and it's gotta be the C4 Ultimate. The reason why is that it's got all the ingredients that every other pre-workout has when it comes to arginine, citrulline, beta alanine, caffeine, like they all got that. But what's unique about the C4 Ultimate is that it actually has creatine in it. And it has two forms of creatine in it. It has the fast absorbing creatine and it has the slow absorbing creatine. And creatine provides cellular power so that you're recharging the muscles, so that you're able to output more energy and strength into your lifts. And remember, to put on muscle, we have to challenge muscle to get stronger, and if you've got that little bit of bump from the C4 Ultimate, then you're gonna be able to lift heavier in the same amount of time so that you're getting stronger, and it's not taking you longer to lift the heavier weights. And then, you need to get a coach. So you need one that will keep you on track for when you feel fat, because as we add this caloric surplus, your body is gonna be like, what are we doing here, dude? It's like this 500 extra calories per day is exhausting. It's too much, I'm way too full. And so a coach like me is gonna tell you, this is a part of the process. You trusted the process to get you down weight, to get you down fat, which is way funner for me, trust me. I would rather just lose weight and lose fat. It's so much funner. You know, there's times in the belly burn where we're not even hungry at all, where all we wanna do is exercise. But when it comes to gaining muscle and gaining strength, well, this takes 
just as much time as when we started losing the weight, and it's gonna be just as difficult on the front end. But we gotta focus on one thing and one thing only. And the coach is gonna be able to tell you when you're ready for that. Because a lot of us wanna jump the gun and start building muscle when we should be focusing on still losing some weight and still dropping some body fat. Your time might be now, but it actually might not be. So get your body fat low enough, which might make you drop some weight, but once we get that body fat low, like into the low 20s, then we can focus on building the muscle. Because you're better to be ripped than gain a few pounds, but then still look lean. And the last question is if you've got weight to lose and your body fat is high, should you still put yourself in a caloric surplus? I would say no, because if you haven't been consistently losing weight, and if you haven't been consistently dropping your body fat, you might already have the muscle underneath. We just now need to drop that body fat low enough so that we can showcase the muscle that you have. So by adding extra calories to your daily intake, we might just be feeding the wrong machine. We might just be feeding your fat cells. The muscle's there. We just need to drop the body fat and showcase what you've already got. So I wanna know, am I touching home yet? Because my channel is based on hundreds of clients that I talk to every single day. And most information out there is done through research. But most is not human tested. Everything that I talk to you about has been tried and tested on real people. Not done in a science lab on rats, it's been done on real people. So if you want more content, message me on Facebook or on Instagram. My channel's at RJ underscore P-A-D-U-A. I'm a real person. I answer all of my message. Send me a topic, send me a question, and I'll make a video for you.